And welcome back, folks. Welcome to our Ludo Dare game marathon. Today, another one of those weird random choices. This time, the random number generator chose the game um, Looping Sandbox, which, according to the developer, um, is his first time ever participating in the Ludum Dare marathon. Um, yeah, and so this game has been written completely from scratch, including the game engine, um, which by his own accord was a little bit too ambitious, so he didn't really finish the game. Um, from what I can tell, it's sort of a Minecraft clone. Uh, you can break tiles, yeah, by clicking repeatedly with your left mouse button. Um, very much in Minecraft, um, yeah, breaking these. Okay, so it's, it's a little bit hard to collect, so um, to select some of these. Ah, I guess, yeah. You can only select them when you're within a certain distance. And as you can see, um, the other three there vanished too, um, because this game is yes, basically set on a cylinder, so it just wraps around. Um, you can also place these blocks again, so I can just build my own tree. I can just place dirt on top of the on top of the seeds and I can place this on top of that. I can also place this just in thin air, uh, like you can in Minecraft do, and then I fell down. This game, well um, this prototype of a game doesn't actually have falling damage, so that's okay. Okay, um, sometimes it just won't work. Hmm. Not sure what that is supposed to be. Um, hmm. You can also break clouds, which is something that you can't do in Minecraft actually. Ah, we can place these blue things Ah, I, I suppose, um, well, I would guess that these would eventually would have been um, crafting tables. Yeah, so that's the top of this little, this little world. Uh, you can't jump on clouds for some reason. I mean, <laughs> you would plop, I mean, in the real world, you would probably not be able to jump on a cloud. But then again, in the real world, you wouldn't be able to just stand on a cloud idly. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, maybe let us see how far this world actually goes. Whether it goes and gone goes on infinitely, or whether it actually has some unbreakable blocks. Um, like in Minecraft, the and I forgot what they are, they are, what they are actually called. Um, Everstone, maybe no, it's not Everstone. Aha, the game has actually, um, I mean, the game world has actually no floor, and so we're just falling into the void. And yeah, so that was looping sandbox. Um, I guess this serves as a lesson that you shouldn't necessarily program your own game engine. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it was necessarily a mistake doing that. I'm sure that the person who programmed this learned quite a lot by this. Um, it's just that if you want to make a game and you start to build your own game engine, it will probably fail. Um, 
I mean, th that's something that I I could really understand. I mean, I um, if I would program my own game, God forbid, I would certainly tend to try to develop my own game engine too. Um, yeah, but there's there's no point. Um, most of the games, virtually all of them that I've played so far that were submitted into the Galudum Dare competition were actually built with the um, Unity, Unity engine. The Unity engine supports a great variety of I mean, games that you can make in it. So, um, yeah, so there's very little reason not to develop in Unity. Yeah, and I think I will just end this video here. Um, since then, since there's not much... Well, actually, you could just try to play some blocks. Um, hmm, maybe we're just falling too fast. There's no way telling how fast we are going. Um, I mean, if this... I would assume that we are still falling, so by this time we would be so fast that there's, there's no chance of placing any blocks. Um, yeah. Anyway, this was Looping Sandbox. Until next time, folks, until then.